So now it's time to work on the route that will let us receive the, the text that the user is going to type and also will let us uh, respond and display the response here. So I'm going to head on over to our application and in the index.py I need here to create a route at app and then dot root and that root must be named forward slash get because in the index.html in the JavaScript I have made a request to this forward slash get. So I need here to have a root that has this forward slash get. This is very, very important. And then I'm going to here create a function and I'm going to name it get uh, chat bot response. Response. And this get chat bot response is obviously going to uh, get, first of all, it's going to get the uh, the text from the user, remember? The text from the user, which is this. So you need to get it. In order to get it, all you need to do is that you need to use the request, request, which is associated with, which is uh, uh, here associated with Flask. So you need to import it from Flask. Here you need to add a comma and then forward slash and then request. This is very, very important. You need to import the request. And then Using this request, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call here the args arguments, go args, and then dot get. Which argument do we want to get? Well, we want to get. Remember, the key was. Let me head on over back. The key was user message. So you need to pass the user message because it contains the user text. So you, the user message here in in the get. You need to pass it here. And then you need to store this in a variable. Let me here say user text, user text. And then now that we have the user text, we need to uh, let the chatbot respond. And to let the chatbot respond, we already know that. We can use the bot.get response. So I'm going to use here uh, bot, bot, bot.get, uh, get response, get underscore response. And of course, it takes this get response, get uh, takes the user text as a parameter, user text. And finally, finally, we need to return, we need to return this to the user because it's gonna, it would be uh, just uh, meaningless to create all of this without returning the response from the chatbot to the user. So we need here to say return, and. This is, this must also be passed, remember, it must be passed inside the string because we want to return a string. So I'm going to say here str, and I'm going to pass the response inside that str. And now the chatbot is going to respond and send that response. But where is this response going to be sent? This, this res uh, response is going to be sent to sent here to the callback function, which is this data, and it's going to be injected or added to this, to these tags, and these tags will be injected into the chatbot, which is the conversation uh, block. So it's going to be injected into our into our front end, and the user will be able to see that uh, response from the chatbot.